Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, Wednesday evening, January 29th, 2020, uh, about 5.40 p.m. West Coast time here, and taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe here. Still shows the 7.7 uh, .7 on there. Should be uh, just about ready to drop off that 24-hour uh, window there uh, relatively soon. Uh, since then, let's drop that down just a little bit more as far as the hours go. We can see what's out there. Not a lot of activity. Uh, I know we did see that uh, um, 6.1 uh, struck to the west of that large 7.7 .7, uh, last night. Uh, but since then, we really haven't seen too much movement in that area, um, aside from a few aftershocks out there in the region and uh, continued earthquake activity in the Puerto Rico area. So needless to say, we're still kind of watching that area. Uh, some renewed activity up here towards the west up along the North American or the western edge of the North American plate up here uh, that includes uh, part of Mexico they have seen a 4.8 down here and up along the California coast stretching from the southern part of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone kind of where it ends there in Northern California uh, down to well Southern California almost down there to Baja California I want to bring up a little bit different map, a little bit more detail right here. And we'll try to zoom in uh, the best that we can here. And show you guys a little interesting line of uh, activity. This is the one day magnitude 2.5 and above. And you can see uh, pretty much a, just a line of earthquakes all the way down um, the coast here. All the way up well, just south of Eureka right along that middle fault triple junction point up here kind of where the Cascadia subduction zone ends um, and the Juan de Fuca plate ends I had a couple what are those there not major quakes folks but just looking at the big picture here shows some kind of strange activity uh, for example I mentioned Bakersfield down there in the uh, San Joaquin Valley, well away from uh, the San Andreas. Not for sure exactly what type of fault systems are down there. Uh, I know you get further south and you get into the grapevine and the uh, mountain ranges to the south here, but uh, just pretty interesting to see a little earthquake down there. Like I said, nothing big. Um, 3.2 was that earthquake near uh, Bakersfield. And then a little spike of an earthquake there in the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault, a 2.6 there near Soledad. Um, and then further north up here, like I said, I mentioned these two earthquakes off the Mendocino uh, Fault system here. And also a 3.5 in a very strange area north of Yakaya, kind of just south of Willits, California. In a uh, well, kind of a strange area. There is a fault system out there. Not for sure the name. There's the uh, fault name right there. Might have to look up that info and see uh, see what type of earthquake history they have. Uh, but anyway, further south down here, once you get past um, the Bakersfield region, not a lot. There was another one down here, kind of towards the southern end of the San Andreas Fault System, a 2.5 near Desert Hot Springs, California. And then also a little bit of earthquake activity here in Mexicali and um, and uh, further south. It looks like it pretty much diminishes. So, uh, but either way, a, a noticeable line of quakes from Southern California stretching all the way up the coast line here of Northern California. And uh, this is just one day activity, so a little bit of movement out here along the West Coast. Nothing big, but uh, nonetheless, it is a movement, right? Uh, the main activity today that we've seen kind of out here in the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire where they had a 5.7 and uh, let's see what do we got here Solomon Islands 6.0 I do have my nephew here so he's kind of he's gonna let me talk on the microphone for a little bit right right <laughs> maybe um, we might have to make this short but uh yeah, 6.0 Solomon Islands region is the latest quake 
uh, at least the largest one that we've seen. So we will have to go watch TV for a minute. Okay, I gotta do something just real quick. Okay, so we'll be back. Can you help me do the update? It's kind of hard to explain earthquakes to a four year old, huh? Earthquakes happen when the ground moves and it starts shaking, right? Plate tectonics is something you'll learn and, in school. And all the red stuff pours. All the red stuff pours? Are you talking about lava? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess plate tectonics do play a major role in lava and volcanoes, right? Yes. So. And this time I won't get any stuff. Uh, let's see here, folks. So, yeah, most of the activity today, at least over here, on the Pacific Ring of Fire, the western part looks like uh, to be pretty active all over. Um, so I might try to jump in here a little bit later once this little guy's uh, asleep and uh, do a little bit further update. But uh, for now, we will be continuing to monitor the activity out here. Deeper earthquake activity out near, uh, what is that area out there? It's interesting out there. Anyway, 5.6 now coming in to the uh, Mediterranean Sea region. I will uh, chat at you guys in a little bit.